Bitch, my yeah. call time, my call sheet say 45 minutes. <laughs> Don't ask me shit. Let me give you DJ number. Don't ask me Bro, shit. I'm, I'm 45 at, minutes. I'm at a point where I believe that, like, my wife don't like having sex with me. <laughs> he like, still stuck on folding clothes. It gotta be wrong, cause like nigga, I, I folded a lot of clothes the other day on my off day. After the gym, Damn. after I ate food and I was sleepy and I was like, you know what? You don't be perfect right now. You know what? That they they sit on the couch. I'm gonna fold the clothes. Yeah. I even put the dishes in the dishwasher. <sighs> wow. Oh, shit. Did you what start the, it? Didn't get I started the dishwasher. My nigga. And and I finished dinner. What did I get that night? 2K. Z's. I got 2K. Speaking Z's. of which, the new one come out tonight. Tonight? Yes. Bro, I ain't got a new system yet, o'clock. so I ain't gonna buy it. I ain't got a new system. I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm, I'm tired of paying the same shit. Every, it's like buying an iPhone, dog. Every year. Yeah, I got shit. the, um, see, I got the, uh, you know, the PS5. I like, them, I like yeah, them. I got PS5 too. Is you still, I gotta add you. Question, though. Is you still having the same sex you had when you first got married? No. <laughs> Nigga, what? Is it nasty? No, this nigga said he ain't having sex. Oh, you're not having none. No, I meant the. I meant the. He hear you, dog. Bro, he ain't hear you. He ain't hear me. He ain't hear you. Bro, oh, and at, at, this, bad, at, this, bro. at this point, bro, I ain't want to talk about it because it seemed like the shit getting back to my wife. Oh, yeah. never mind. And the shit ain't getting translated correctly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like that I'm just being a dick. The love you is You know tough. what I'm saying? Yeah, it seems like I'm being a dick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it comes to the point to where it's like, you know. I'm at my wit's end, goddamn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I'm at, I, I, no, I mean, it's good. We're, we're, we're not gonna let bro, you get in trouble. Um, hey, hey, if you want to hear me talk about, listen, to Reposado uh, memoirs, my nigga. But we yeah. ain't talking about that right now. Yeah. All right. But, you know but, but, but on, on here, it gets back. But over there, it don't get back. I would think. I, yeah, I mean, because I mean, honestly, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what happens on the other show, bro. Because I don't, I don't know who listens to it, who not. I appreciate all my listens. I really do. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't, I really don't think my wife supported at at all. To mm-hmm. be honest with you, I mean, you know, but from what I heard, is it's whenever I'm on the mic, it's kind of hard for her to listen, which I don't understand what that is. You know, nigga just needing a little support. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it is what it is, bro. Hey, if you support me, you don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can, I'm not gonna beg nobody for support. Episode chapter one is in triple digits now, boy. That's Bro. A fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I appreciate that. And yeah, yeah. Everybody that listened to Reposado Memoirs, I mean, we all a part of the Army Network. I, I appreciate you. Thank you for listening. I appreciate all feedback. Um, but I'm at, at some point I'm gonna have every nigga I fuck with on that shit. Trust yeah. me. So it's just That's it's right. just a matter of lining shit up, you know what I'm saying, and having shit pop out. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga got visuals coming up, so you know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, bro. They um uh I want to ask you too. I mean cuz I mean I know Dash you had a show or have a show still additional to this one. Um and you your artist but you also listen to podcasts too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um how does how does that work for y'all? Do you do you like have like the shows that come out on the set time? Do you always listen on those days or do you find yourself behind and just play catch up sometimes? Cuz I notice that sometimes, like with uh, like we'll drop a show, and one of them will have like low numbers, like just like it was just weirdly low. Mm-hmm. But then when we drop the next one, the next one is high, and then it raises the numbers of the one that was low. Mm-hmm. So do y'all like do is, is it normal for people to play catch up on pods? What I will say is, uh, shout out to the stink of ours. Like when we started our pod, it w- it wasn't about the numbers really. It was more so kind of like a therapy se- session for my niggas. So uh-huh. it was really, so it's really at the end of the day, the numbers is just a bonus. So I would say when, right. when we do get together and we be able to put our thoughts together and actually, you know, say something concise, it really, it really just that. We we enjoyed right. each other's company when we ain't got kids or we ain't around, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? We with, it's the, it's, it's fellas Ooh. having an out and saying what they want, doing what they want. Just guys not out, kind of like being in a man cave. It's kind of like our thing outside of work, outside of everything. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. And uh, and I actually I actually like that because um I don't I don't consider like I'm I'm not looking at numbers, but then as a as a starting podcast, you do kind of look at numbers and be like, man, it's people fucking with me. Like the niggas that that rock with me are y'all listening to this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like your demographic. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um. So it's it's not it's not really about that because I think my podcast is more of a therapy session. Like you're gonna get, like, at some point this. Sh- I like the free flow nature of it. Right. It's it's just 
my podcast is really just casual conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And it's ca- casual conversation with me and my co-host, or is it ca- casual conversation with me and my niggas? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get the barbershop talk. You're going to get the regular talk. You're going to get the relationship talk. You're going to get all that shit in one. It's, it's not... I don't have a certain demographic of podcasts, and it's like, at some point, I might dive into the bag to to the shit that I'm going through personally in my life. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or just the shit that I experience, or the shit that my co-hosts experience, or the shit that we both experience. And you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's. I don't, I don't have a certain avenue of this shit. It's just free fall. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Which I think a lot of people relate to because, yep. like, I ultimately, I just want. When niggas riding on, however you listening to my shit, you talking back to yourself, and you 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 talking so loud, you thinking I'm gonna hear you, my yep. nigga. And the podcast been recorded three days ago. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's what that's what I want, bro. I just want conversation. I want niggas to hit me up. Like a nigga hit me up. I said something about some um and uh tequila. He was like, damn, nigga, and yeah, ho tequilas for niggas going through shit. I was like, oh, nigga, that's what I said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I want niggas, I want that engagement. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, talk to me. Like, bro, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. tubs. My nigga, just holler at me. I think you know that's what important with the numbers, the people that's actually listening good, to what bro. you are saying. You right. You know, right, wrong, or indifferent, even if they felt a way about certain shit that you said. Right. Say. If you don't fuck with it, nigga, tell me. You know, right, right, right. They ain't gonna tell I you. feel like right. people be scared to yeah, say stuff sometimes. I'll be like, bro, niggas, it's okay. Just... My niggas took me to homie court for a whole episode. <laughs> like, yeah. for a whole episode. Court. Yeah. Like, like homie like court. Help me accountable yeah. as an artist for a whole episode. Nah, for sure. And I had to sit there and listen to these niggas and actually realize that they were right. What yeah. was the plot? What was the 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 whole thing? So, so yeah, what charges would you brought up? On? So me, <laughs> so me personally, judge. What you here for, bitch ass nigga? So, <laughs> so my as an artist on the Houston scene, I uh-huh. ran into a lot of bullshit. So I'd be jaded to work with other people, <sighs> and I kind of get annoyed when certain shit happens. And I'm impatient when it comes to certain shit because I put my own money, I bet on myself. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the shit that I do, I'm I'm paying for it. And I would rather me come out of pocket if I'm asking you for a verse or I ask you for certain shit, like I already got to take care of, just show up and rap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yep. then when that doesn't happen, it makes it it annoys me to the point where I can't even fuck with you or I right. just look at you different. Right. You see what I'm saying? And that happened to me a lot. And this is at this is at a crossroad. This is before Michi happened. This is like during the process of Golden Sheep's clothing too. Before Michi even happened, like I tell people all the time, and I, like I said on on this pod, like Michi wasn't even supposed to happen. That was a passion project to prove that I could do it. Yeah, like that's why that shit is like Jesus piece. It got like damn near features on every song, mm. just to prove I can hang with them niggas. Mm. But that kind of lit a fire under me. To where I was like, bro, I could do this shit for real. Yeah. So that's why everything is coming out how it's coming out. But it started with that homie court episode. Them niggas holding me accountable of saying like, you know, everybody, everybody's process is different. Everybody like, like really bigging me up, like, like tearing me down to build me up. Not even on no hater shit, like really on some nigga, you bullshit and you need to lock in and do what you have to do. And I think that's important to hold, like, even if it's not on the podcast to hold, you know, your homies accountable when they are on bullshit and when you see them falling short because that's what makes everything stronger. Right. Yep. They did that shit live on air. <laughs> I could have been like, nah, don't put that shit Man, out. I'll just do it in your text message. Bro, and what, right. what's crazy is, bro, I'm, I ain't gonna cut you off, but what's crazy is, bro, it's like... Love you too, Mathis. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, man, like, when niggas, when niggas get on... I, I had a, I had a talking point on my show when niggas get on podcasts, they start snitching on themselves. Yeah, right. Shit. You know what I'm saying? What happened? The, the pride, would you say it again? Oh, yeah, it's my show. It's my show, and, and trust me, my nigga, it's my show on, on the best network out there. Oh, you know let's about? go. Like, nah, let's I'm, go. I'm, I'm not gonna shit one on time my niggas. For the one nah, time. I'm not gonna shit on my niggas. Hey, bro, bro I, yeah, that nigga been waiting for me to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yes, you know what, what I wish this nigga just do, so he'll shut right, the fuck exactly, up, exactly, bro. So it's, it's just like, it. it's just like now. <laughs> It's like now, nigga, I'm Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying? Coming out, you know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm, I'm Cam. Don't coming be out cute. From the events, you know what I'm saying? Don't be cute, you know nigga, because that, that make that make nah. us NWA. I don't want to be. Nah, nah, y'all the diplomats. You oh. know what I'm saying? Well, I still don't like right. that one. Um, <laughs> well, try well, again. Well, as long well, as you're not Joel's, you're good. Yeah, right. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
is it takes the confrontation to get you to say what was on your mind. Exactly. Right. And, and it's, it's building up. So 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 even though you may not like me at that moment, that's what it's taking for you to say what the fuck is bothering you. Right. Right. Yeah. right. And I got then, you. And then be times where where she would come at me, and it's like it's really not like that. Like it was one instance, perfect instance, where we had Wit and Lauren on the show, mm-hmm. and I I ain't gonna lie, nigga, I was wild in that show. I was <laughs> drunk once. Hmm. Lauren had a fat ass. We was on the head first. And we was on the show. Yeah. We was Ooh, drunk. Shit. We was drunk as fuck. We was and all I, drunk, and, bro. and I think you and me, bro, bro. I said I said something about eating ass with jalapenos and some hot sauce. <laughs> we yeah. finished wild <laughs> shit. Yeah. For, context, yard line of the Super Bowl. Yeah. for context, y'all, we yeah. finished two bottles before the episode yeah. started. Before, before it started. started. And before and the episode I probably, started. I probably hit a Damn, blunt. Nigga. I, I, I'm not even smoking, my Ooh. nigga. I don't smoke. Yeah, I know that. I know that. So, right. So, so, nigga, I was all 10. Damn. On the episode. And I'm surrounded by women at this point. So it's like, so I guess she heard the episode and mm-hmm. she was like, well, you said this and you said that and you said this. And I was like, all right, I, I did. Mm-hmm. I could have denied that. <laughs> yeah. I did. I said however, that she hit. However, I did that. Have I ever done this? She was like, no. Okay. Have I ever done this? She was like, no. So what are we talking about? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. like, as a person on the pod, I'm not I'm not a radio personality, mm-hmm. right. but I'm, I'm a nigga that that is known to be on podcasts. I I I'm a nigga that's known from what I've heard to talk my shit, yep. and I talk my shit, and I don't excuse nothing. Yep, right. Nigga, I'm I'm blatant. I'm honest. I'm I'm emptying my shit out to you. So I was like, so so what's the point? Like I I said that yeah, and I was like, so I understand how you feel and. I, I take that into consideration, but I'm not out here fucking these bitches. Yeah. Perfect example. Recently, hey man, I'm, I'm airing all this shit out. But recently, she brought up the the um, the um little debate Valentine's we had episode? about, no, the debate we had about buying bitches drinks. Mm-hmm. She asked me that. She was like, so when you be out, you don't buy bitches drinks? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> like, you know what I'm yes, I do. Yes, let's, yes let's I do. Know. And she was like, um... So you be out here getting bitches numbers? I really don't. I don't have time for these hoes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got kids, Listen, nigga. So. I got kids. My nigga, I got kids. I got I got kids. I got a wife. I had a podcast that I'm at that at that time. Got the gym. Now I got two podcasts. Nigga, yep. I don't have time for these hoes. Yeah, yeah. Plus so the gym. I, Plus the gym. Oh, yeah, you ain't never been to the gym. Hey, Diesel. Hey, Diesel. Flex my knees one time. Flex my knees one time. Hey, let me get out here. Yoga and shit. I'm mad. 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 Yeah. Just because somebody cut me off because you're not even trying to hear what I'm trying to say. Right. Because you feel like you're more right than what I'm saying right now. And what I had to learn is when they go high, you go low. Just yeah. I just stop talking and look at them. Let me ask y'all a question. And after a while of doing that shit, after a while of doing that shit, they're going to stop. They go, yeah, they're going to stop. They're going to stop. And then you'll be able to get your shit off. Bro, and it's like, um, I, I got no, you. No, you good, you good. And, and it's like, it's like, bro, it's like when she hit me up, she was like, um, you be buying bitches drinks? I said, yeah, I do. <laughs> When she hit me up, yeah. like when they she don't live together. She was like, she yeah. was like, when that like, bitch talked to me the next time, I caught that. Like, I caught like, that. She like, you begin, you begin bitches numbers. I be like, I was like, nah, I don't. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. Cause I don't have time. Like my nigga, cause I, I'm running a car page too. Like I'm running my car page. So nigga, I'm. I'm Web looking nice too, my nigga. But they're mm-hmm. busy, mm-hmm. Like, bitch. Like, so it's but like, they're busy. Like, I don't have. And then plus off Verizon. First off, these niggas ain't paying money. Yeah, at a point. Yeah, these boy. niggas not paying like they used to, bro. Like I don't yeah. I'm I'm not yeah. I'm not making that shit I made two years ago. Mm. To where I can fucking fuck off and then fuck off and then niggas don't see shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, if I fuck off on this nigga, I'm I'm short on this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, so you you spent that in yeah. Urban? Yeah, right, nigga. <laughs> Chill out, nigga. You know how Chill we party. Out. You know how we party at the office and Shadow Bar. My nigga, so I mean, dog, it's, it's just. I knew this nigga was being responsible when this nigga said, "When I said, hey, tell us we getting a bottle today." Nigga said, mm, "Not no. today." <laughs> no, I'm not getting a bottle, no sir. Cause no. I came ready, and that nigga was like, mm, mm, "No, nah, no, nah, we, we yeah. gonna get drinks from the bar." <laughs> My nigga, but so so the thing is, bro, it's like, bro, it's is is. You got you got to take me for me, dog. Like at some point, you just gotta understand. Like this is this how that nigga been. 
And this is how it's going to be, bro. This this is, your I, man. I don't I don't mean I don't mean no it's harm, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's just it's something. at some yeah. point you got to understand your your person you with. I, I get what you I get what you're saying, bro. Um Thank you. And something I have to learn myself is to find a middle ground where I can still be myself, but I also understand for sure the other person's side of you. For sure, you, you feel sure. what I'm saying? Compromise, like a compromise. That's sure. that's the key word. Compromise yeah. and comprehension. Yeah, for sure. It ain't sure. gonna be communication because anybody right. with two lips can talk. Can talk. It's com- yeah, it's yeah, comprehension. Yeah. It's compromise, bro. And sure. a lot and a lot of times, like you funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? I've been out with I've, you. Yeah. You, you see you what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Like you be chilling, bro. Like you, you don't I be even chilling, be on no, bro. You don't even be on no shit. I you know what I'm saying? Chilling, this is bro. me. I've seen you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This not be. I don't. I don't have yeah. to lie for you. Right. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of the times, you know, the women. Just for whatever reason, yeah. especially if you're a nigga that's on your shit, right. you 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 attractive to other women. Yeah, it's gonna be that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, re- I think reassurance is big. Like yeah. when you oh, in the, when, when you have a serious yeah. relationship, reassurance is big. Like, for sure, for sure, on for some sure. other shit, and also feeling like you're included. Yeah, and I think a lot. I think a lot of times, like, we tend to forget. Nah, not 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 because. We don't care, but right. because we got a hell of shit on our plate, like you said, nigga, I got two podcasts. Yeah. I'm at the gym. Yeah. I'm working at this bullshit ass job. Yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, I got all this shit worried about. <laughs> nah, I gotta take sure. care of home. I got kids. For sure. And you know what? And, and I mean, to cut you off. I mean, but but you but you right though because get your shit off. Go ahead. Because one one of the things was including her, which I I can say that I have neglected in including my wife in in situations, which is like, you know. Going back to the wax event, you right. know what I'm saying, which is cool. I I understand. I I probably could have brought you out. You feel me? But most of the time when I'm out, I'm really out with my niggas, right? Working, like right. we be having we be having such innocent fun, and it, 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 it really be so just, stupid. It be, it <laughs> we be, be so chilling. stupid. Nigga, if she was, she was we're like, we're being at her rapping rap songs to each other, nigga. Bro, we can't worry about and, no. And, and she was, and she was like, this one. and she was Ooh, like, plays this one. No, and she was like, she was like, but if be women there, I be like, yes. Them niggas love women rap too. They, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, cause the, the women we fuck with, damn, they got niggas. Oh, I'm not attracted to them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, bro, I, I love, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I love hanging with women. Mm-hmm. Women are the dopest, dopest fucking species on the on the planet Earth. Women are fucking gift to God. Any woman, you can be what well, woman, black woman, is is the best fucking gift Top ever. Tier. But yeah, but white women, eh, you know what I'm saying? Asian, Spanish, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But black women, period, are the best fucking gift to God, bro. And I love hanging with them. That doesn't mean I'm trying to fuck every single black woman I meet. That doesn't mean any of that shit, bro. But at the end of the day, it's like I love hanging with women. Now, could I bright? Could I invite my woman out? Yes, I could have a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But most of the time, most 95% of the time, I'm with hard legs. Pause. I'm with my niggas. I, feel, I just realized this nigga don't have headphones on. Give me a second, bro. Because we we 20, we 25. Oh, shit, my bad. Oh, my fault. Yeah. Oh, shit. Man, I'm going off on a tangent, my nigga. My bad. Oh, no, it's all good. This is good content. Great content. Great shit. Yeah. This is good content. Hell yeah. I'm going off, my nigga. I'm sorry, bro. No, it's all good. Sometimes we got to do that, bro. Hey, my nigga. When are you going to miss? All right, oh, so motherfuckers, <laughs> this is you're not missing. Now yeah. we can introduce ourselves. Yeah. Hey, sometimes episodes just gotta start like that. It's all love, bro. Oh, then we do intros. We sure did not. Oh shit. This your boy DJ, Mister on mute, the opinionated asshole, young Aegon Targaryen on the flesh. You know, Game of Thrones is back, so I gotta bring that intro back. Uh, oh, Targaryens are up. Thick cannon. Niggas uh, everywhere. Question the boy. Uh, O'Shea on mute. You know how I motherfucking go. Um, mute Gotti. You know all you the shit now, about. bro. You know yeah, how to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna keep that one at a dash and gay that one to me. That's a real nigga. Go out to my right. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, you. shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. This nigga. Hey, what it is, what it does is judge himself at MJ Owens on all social media. What goes down? The Christian comedian. Yes, it's the Christian. Co- Low key to Ray Charles of the podcast game. That nigga holding his head. I started talking. I didn't catch it at first. I had a little. Uh, I've had a. I had a conversation. I wrote some things down with a pen of mine. Thank you so much. Oh man. All right. Hang Mr. on. All right. Mr. Yes. Bob and Weave. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Rob Williams. Mr. Uh, if it, if it tastes good, drink it. If it say, smell good, eat it. Is in the building. Yeah. Um, we, we, we here, man. We got a bunch of people. Oh, it's so much better. God damn, it was bright in here. 
We live in right. life right now, man. Who I got to my range? Man, it's Tubbs, a.k.a. the grandma's favorite asshole, a.k.a. the Blue True Baron, a.k.a. Mr. Dick Pick Deacon, <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, How much do these cost? The captain of the Carpet Let's Munching see, Crusaders, a.k.a. Young Day Party, a.k.a. the Vibe God. Oh, he a flashy nigga. A.k.a. Tequila, Tequila Terror, a.k.a. Mr. Ryder Roddy Piper, a.k.a. Mr. Snow J. Pimpson, a.k.a. Young Crowfro Dollar, a.k.a. the uh, Reposado Robin Hood, I rob from the bitches and give to the good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I rob from the bitches to give to these hoes. Oh, I rob from the bitches to give to these God hoes every damn day. Damn it! I, I, I get it right next time. Okay, you know nigga, what? Hey, now, nigga, this is the second podcast now in a I row. Know why, now I know why. <laughs> now I know why Quentin Miller was mad at Drake. I nigga, gave you the words whoa, to say. Nigga, this is say the words. Oh, my nigga, this is the second podcast. Say the words. My nigga, second podcast. Second podcast in a row, and now I'm on my fifth drink. Leave me alone. Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. Say the words, anime. I gotta drive home to Missouri. We got across though. from you. Ooh, we. Who I got across from? Here yes, he sir. comes. This the is... May King himself. Dash the Goat, a.k.a. the Boogeyman with the God Flow, a.k.a. 8900 Michi, a.k.a. I would fuck your bitch. Mm. Yes, sir. But mm. I'm in therapy now. A.k.a. <laughs> I like that. Be like water. Be like water. On a lap in your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Change up a little bit more. A.k.a. Take care and Paul. Shout out to my nigga, Mr. On Mute. That's another story for another day. Another a.k.a. Day. Bitch, I'm a part of the network now. Hey! 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 I'm the newest member of the Rockefeller team. <laughs> hey! <laughs> is he your chaining day right hey! now? <laughs> and tonight, I got this one. This is the No, no, no. What? What you trying to do? AKA Mr. Don't Let Me Fall. Go ahead. Thank you. Mm. Uh, tonight, I mean, Matthew's the only introduces our guest, but this is my motherfucking nigga, my motherfucking brother. Uh, do you know, uh, Mr. It Is What It Is, mm. Mr. Mid Range Shawty. Mm. Hey, bro, Mr. Mr. Let's I, I, go. Mr. I, 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 Let's I, I, go. Hey, Tay, I look on hit you with that. Ain't <laughs> hey, that midi? Uh, Mr. Fade Away. Yeah. Mr. It Is What It Is, Mr. 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 Nigga that had a that had a freestyle that nobody topped yet. Mm. Ooh. Mm. And he said he coming for that belt again. Man. He coming for the belt. Well the real belt. belt. He said he coming home. for the belt. He wants the real belt. <laughs> Yeah. What are you gonna do, Houston rap scene? See the jersey, huh? You we're, see, we're, see, see the jersey, jersey, jersey on too. Jersey. Kobe jersey and Nike's on. <laughs> My man's cashing every check they throw at him. Yeah. Shades darker than a foxy brown areola. Nigga, you're muted. Oh, shit. Nigga, stupid, dog. Shout out to them titties. My motherfucking brother. Shout out to them titties. My motherfucking brother, fresh out the release of his debut album, It Is What It Is. Tay it Allen is, is in the is. building. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, Thank I, you, gentlemen. I must, I must say, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't listened to the joint yet. I nigga, have. nigga, nigga, been going through a lot of shit lately. Mm-hmm. I as have. you can shit, tell, shit. they got some songs in here for you for this too. No, baby. As, as, you, as you can tell, <laughs> nigga been going through some marriage counseling like a motherfucker. So <laughs> it's all good, bro. Please, I got you. No, I got. We're gonna get into yeah, the. We're gonna get into the review yeah. a little bit later. How does it feel to have your debut album out, bro? So let me tell y'all this. First and foremost, thank y'all for having me on. Oh, for shit show. This you family, shit, nigga. I had to come here. First off. Because I came here a year ago, and I told y'all about this project. Yeah, you did. When y'all was at the other spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And so it's only right that I come back once this bitch is out. Y'all used to have my shit as the intro to the pod. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's Just been nothing but love. Pops. Man. <laughs> man. Man. Wrong man, man. Pops. That's what man. it sound like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nah, we, we 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 support we support solid niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? You've been, you been a solid nigga from the beginning, bro. And I I I really hate myself that I haven't listened to it because I let outside shit happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, I I think I deprived myself. I mean, actually I know I deprived myself of listening to this as as of right now. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna listen to it, bro. It's, it's it's hands down. But I just I just hate the fact that I haven't yet. Man. Niggas been going through some shit. But anyway, dog, we 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 not on that right now. We're gonna get yeah. to that. Gonna I gotta to say that. this. Usually You about to talk about the album? No. Oh, okay. Well, not in depth of what was my favorite song and all that shit. But we we giving flowers right now. Wait, wait, we giving flowers. Wait, we giving flowers. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, with flowers. me. Just roll with me. Just roll with me. We're gonna pace this we, thing we tonight. Gonna to DJ We're gonna pace this thing tonight. I got y'all. I got y'all. We about to have some fun tonight. We about to talk some bullshit. Calling ISO. All that shit. 
No, just, just running point. Just running point. point. Just running point. A two point guard. One for flat. A two point guard. Scotty. Hey, you might be. Hey, you might be. They're not looking. This is a. This is another. This is another member of Let It Fly Gang as well, bro. So you know he's here. Yeah, he. Oh yeah, he be with us on Sundays, bro. When he can come. I can't wait till I get my invite. Gonna have a fucking bro, I I'm not about to fucking talk to you. When I, I look at that as tricky. Yeah. You just eating with me, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're you with me at the I'm time. I'm going to taste some of that ravioli. Yeah, exactly. So like, it's not like I'm just buying it for you. Do you want me to define it before y'all start going I mean, yeah, to define it? What is tricky? What is tricky? We're okay. looking at We're looking at it from hang normal. Hang on, hang on. Let's find normal it. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I'm just, tricking is tricky. not food to me. Tricking was defined as money spent to keep young women, to, to keep attractive women in your Company. Then the bar is low. Not buying for pussy. Uh-huh. We're not, I'm not talking about paying for pussy. We're, so we're not never gonna talk about paying for pussy. Mm-hmm. Just that you know, like, all right, you see, like, you see, like, it's like say, um, the host some poor horseman was around. Not host, the young lady, some poor horseman was around. You want to be in your section? All right, tell them come to section. I got the bottles and drinks and everything tonight is on me. Yeah. How up, up do you got to be to start doing that shit on a regular mean, basis? Uh, the, actually, actually, basis? actually, 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 I Ain't had an instance this weekend. Sorry, go ahead. You got no, I was saying, ain't that the goal? I mean, if you if you well, I'm married, woman, but but when no, I get no, up up, I'm me and my wife gonna trick on these hoes. No, no, no what I'm <laughs> no, what I'm saying is not not speaking for the married gentleman. You know what I'm saying? Like what what I'm talking to, like there's a difference between tricking and me willingly wanting to do this Having because I want you in my company, right? Because you're that's a great thing. time. No, no, it's different. It's different. It's different. I can see. Can see. Okay. I would say tricking is more this? so I'm I'm paying you to like me. How about I no? Say I look at that's like how I look that. at it too. Oh, yeah. that's how you look at it. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Paying you to like me. But but you can say it like this: that maybe the young ladies wouldn't be in your company if you weren't covering the tab. <clears throat> Shame on them. They but still yeah. they you still can. like your co- they still like your company. It's nothing wrong with it's nothing wrong with your company. No, no, not not they wouldn't give you time of day, but they don't like going out if they gotta pay for their shit. Mm. Oh, oh. So, so wait, so so wait. Are we not talking about we all in the same vicinity? I invite you over. It's more of like, hey, we finna go here. Do y'all want to come? We go cover everything. Downstairs. Downstairs. So yeah. Yeah. All right. So 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. So so this past weekend, I was in Dallas, and I was frequenting. Well, not frequenting. Excuse me. I was at a spot (laughs) where. Uh, a, a friend of mine, she owns. Mm-hmm. She owns this spot. And I happen to have a box. That's, sent, that's sent homie. Table. That's yeah. that's homie. Nah, nah, she that's, take care of everybody. That is love. Yeah, like, like shout out to her. Like, for for sure. Like, it's it's all love. And she sent me a bottle over to the table. And I'm not going to say I recruited these women, but... <laughs> 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 However, these hoes showed these up when I... These bitches saw a bottle, and it's like a bad signal. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, so granted, you know what I'm saying? We we had to duck out early, so we kind of left half a bottle there, and I was like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I honestly believe if it hadn't been for that bottle, because we was there for like an hour before that bottle got there. Uh-huh. So if it hadn't been for that bottle, them hoes wouldn't have came. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But however, I was having trouble again, because I'm pretty sure I'm hitting so, later. So that's perfect. So imagine you... Them, them same females saw uh-huh. you sitting in there for that 30, 45 minutes or whatever mm-hmm. and didn't pay you no mind. Mm-hmm. But when you got the bottle, so how far up do you got to be to just be buying bottles and just be like, just just to have them flock you gotta, and you chill? Gotta, you got you to gotta be an upward ass nigga. That's a fact. Be with, he, over a meal or about, close to a meal? Oh, over a over. meal. Well, oh, over. I'm, I'm close to a meal. I'm tricking, well, 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 I'm, I'm tricking it close com- to a meal. Comfortably, <clears throat> comfortably. Like, you have to be over a meal because you're talking about, if, if you're a single nigga, you're doing mm-hmm. this shit, yeah. what, five... Four or five nights out the week? Country. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, if tri- a married nigga but, once, once a but, weekend, every other week. But, but, but then again, though, but then again, some of these places kind of give you that that discount bottle, like that discount because you always coming. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So if that I too. can get good at these places, move. these $300 bottles turn into $150, 175 and I'm buying two, three bottles at a time. If For I don't the price finish, of one. Yeah, right. So if I finish one bottle, I got two left. Mm-hmm. Now you company me two bottles on the, my, my next visit. So I kind of see how these niggas are doing it, and right. I, I, I've been watching this shit. Like, some of these niggas that you would think, oh, man, them niggas getting money. Nah, them, them really one or two count bottles. Mm-hmm. It's looking like that. You feel me? Because them niggas already up. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's like, I I, th- I think to to comfortably be in that lifestyle, bro, you have to be north of $700,000, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think, and also when you were when you were when you somebody of that stature, 
you just want a good time when you go out. It ain't got necessarily mean exactly. that you're trying, trying to, you're trying to, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're trying, trying to fuck, fuck on exactly. a bitch. You know what I'm exactly. saying? You ain't necessarily got to be wanting to fuck everybody in your section. It just be you like hanging around atmosphere. bitches. That's it. it. It's just you. You want a lot of pretty women around you. You could yeah. be like, all right, bitches. I see y'all later after that. You Bro, know let us get picked up by Spotify. Prepared. My bad. He comes prepared. And they cut a check. <laughs> if we get picked up by Spotify and they cut a check. Yeah. And my check is north of seven fifty. Yeah, I'm hanging man? with bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not even gonna lie to you, my nigga. This nigga, we we start doing tours and live shows. Yeah, nigga, I'm hanging with bitches. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. It's only right. Nigga, it's only right. It's only right. You gotta, hey, you gotta shows do a donation. Crazy, though. I ain't gonna my lie. nigga, Jarvis, that other mic right there is on. You want to answer this question for me? The mic that's right there. Yeah, the rap mic. The booth mic. That's the only thing, bro. What's your thoughts, bro? Yeah. How, how up, up you got to be to start just, just for the company, dog? Tricking. In general. In general. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. In Houston, it's different. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not tricking in New York. I'm not tricking in New York. You good. I'm tricking oh. in Houston. Oh, no, oh, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. You go to New York, nigga. That's I'm not, more than tricking. I'm not tricking in New York. I'm not tricking in Miami. Uh, nah. I'm not tricking in L.A. <laughs> my, I'm, I'm, I'm tricking. I'm tricking. My I'm, tricking is, is Texas and Southern bro, Ride, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm tricking. I'm tricking in Houston in places where I know niggas. Yeah, all a life shit. Yeah. Hey, bro. Damn right. Hey, Lyndon. Yeah. I better have some some comps somewhere on this exactly. goddamn ticket. <laughs> exactly, my nigga. Half or some. Before we get into this, y'all yeah, tune into the room yeah, seventeen no, ten. Yeah. I gotta plug myself in. Yeah, get your shit in there, bro. I gotta market myself. Mm. It's all love. Go ahead. Um, Shit, it all kind of really depends on how I'm feeling. Like, uh, for me, Ted, like, man, it's just, if I want you in my company, like, if I really care, if I really fuck with you, if you catch me in a good time, if I'm drunk and shit like that, I'm going to spend money. You know, right. my, uh, what's that whole saying? My cup overrunning? Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Spend my cup, oh, my Feed cup to the knee. Feed the knee. Feed. Okay, yeah, okay. Right. Let me ask this. Let me ask this, because this is the whole thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. A right, woman that it. women that you know or know of versus <laughs> women that you don't know from a can of paint. You know what I'm saying? So if you in a you in a section, Ooh, you see some some women that you, you already. I see where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You already right, seen yeah. them all out around. You don't know them like right. that, but you, you you know them. You know what I mean? Right. You more. You know what I'm saying? I'm more. I'm more inviting. Yeah. But yeah. a woman or women that you don't know, you don't know right. these motherfuckers uh, from nowhere. Nothing. Yeah. How do y'all handle that situation? I I, I I would be more cautious because right now everybody's trying to set up somebody. Yeah. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Yeah. And and just I, my cousin is a nigga that's that's known in the streets. Nigga get money. Nigga work for the oil refineries. So nigga get money. And nigga been set up twice. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be that type of nigga, <laughs> nigga. that's, that's mm-hmm. walking to his whip and I get robbed in my whip. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if if it's women that I know and I've seen frequently and I kind of engage conversation with, mm-hmm. there would be mm-hmm. I would invite them faster than anybody else. You see what I'm saying? Would but, that still be tricking though? Yeah, and, and that's cool. And I think okay. I do that now. Okay. Like if, if I if I see a chick that I I'm, I'm not gonna say a chick that I just met like a few months ago, but yeah, there's somebody I know, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? Like, oh, you here? Cool, me too. What you drinking? I got you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just that type of person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I got in trouble yeah. for being that type of person too. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, but um, that that's just me though. Like yeah. if, if I'm, I mean, that's because like I my nigga, I love black women. Mm-hmm. Like and I, I'm all I'm black women 100. percent You know what I'm saying? But it's like, like my homegirls that come out and I see them out. Like I'm drinking, but you not drinking. Oh, I'm finna order a drink. You sitting right here next to me? 100. percent Like what? I ain't 100%. about to drink and you ain't got yeah, nothing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. My nigga, that, that's yeah. the type of nigga but I am, bro. I don't think that's tricking though, bro. I just think you you being cool. You, you being fruitful. I'm being fruit. Okay, yeah, 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 Boy, I'm putting new devil. Uh, yeah. new words. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, but then go back to the original no, question. Like How tricking. much money do you have but to have? But tricking is right. literally I'm paying for this woman's time. If I didn't have this dime, she wouldn't be around. Yeah, that's a lot that's of bitches tricking. out here. But that's tr- agree. So, 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 so but what he's saying and what these these niggas is out here doing is two different things. Ah, I got you. I got you. Okay, so because maybe I'm not a trick type nigga, so I can't relate. No. Exactly, bro. You just, you just, you're around your company. You're being right. a gentleman. I'm being cool. Yeah, you're being you know a gentleman. It ain't like you, you. Yeah, I don't know. You I, might, I don't, I don't think I ever you call pay, that gentleman. I don't, I don't think I ever pay for a bitch to, to just, just, just sit here and look pretty. Nah, I, I feel like tricking is like, 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 like a nigga that that's like gullible type shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's yeah. really what it is. Or yeah. a nigga that's like, 
I can't get bitches like this, so yeah, I gotta got use some, this money. You got some yeah, right. out That's here. what I think about when I think you, of trip. You got some of them niggas out here too. Word. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, oh, she fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they, be, uh, they get that game ran on them. Niggas pull out a lot of cash for no fucking reason, bro. Mm-hmm. I never understood that. Bro, I'm like, we got him. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like right. fishing rod. So, uh, next up on my motherfucking docket list. Uh, right now on Instagram on a daily motherfucking basis, Kanye has been going at Adidas mm. for stealing his shit, for putting out shit that he don't approve of. Um, I'm still mad I didn't get those for, doves. for lowering down, for lowering the output of a, of Yeezys while making in mass quantities copies of Yeezys and shit like that. I just want to know as Yeezy wears, is why I got you over here, Noah. <laughs> Uh, how do y'all feel about this this back and forth this niggas is having with Adidas? I, th- I think it's necessary. I don't wear them hoes, so I can't talk to y'all. I think it's necessary because um, I think Adidas is just basically abusing this nigga right now at this point, and it's full of shit because um, I'm pr- I'm pretty pissed off. I didn't get my fucking turtle doves, and I deserve it. <laughs> 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 this nigga so days, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Shit and the I, I deserve it. Nigga, I've, I've, I've waited online for 15 hours. God damn, yes. bro. Jeez. And I still didn't get my turtle doves. Damn. And that's bullshit. Them hoes Those are the ones you're looking oh, for? Them hoes so cool. Yes, them the only ones oh. I want. I, I have, I, nigga, I got on Yeezys right now. I have I have one of the bread 350s. Yeah, yeah. I have the Wade Runners. Okay. I missed out I on them. I missed out, I missed out on them. I had, like, turtle I'm a 700s dogs. fan, and yes. I sold most of my shit to move back out here because I was living in Dallas at the time. But I had some shit that I ain't seen on niggas' feet out here. Bro, I just wanted the turtle doves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The turtle. The tur- Bro, Yo, I heard it so quick, 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 super quick story, man. So I hit on three pairs of shoes on Yeezy. Hey, baby, hey, man. time out. Yo, your beard is impeccable. Hey, bro, I appreciate oh, 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 that, brother. Yeah. No, no homo, bro. I'm sitting here looking at this nigga beard, bro. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? That nigga got a movie beard. That nigga got a movie beard. Yeah, right. That nigga got a movie beard. I'm going to tell my nigga don't cut this shit off tomorrow, bro. Every time somebody say that shit, let me get one dollar. Nah, that nigga got a movie beard, bro. That nigga the best mayor beard ass nigga. Hey, that nigga got that Carlos Boozer. Brother got three got pairs. Up? I did so okay. I'm about to say you gotta get no, out of no, here. No, no, no. So okay. story time went over real quick. Okay. All right. So I had the opportunity to get some turtle doves, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Not in my size, right? Okay. So it, real quick synopsis, right? So the way they used to they kind of worked was periodically for one day, just some people that don't know, right? Yeah. Shoes would drop just random. Right. You gotta be on your shit. You, right. You gotta exactly. understand what's going on. Exactly. So, man, maybe around 10 30, 11, maybe even 12 o'clock. Yeah. Like, no exaggeration, bro. They started dropping shit. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I get the exclusive look. Yo, we got these. Boom, boom. Yeah. You can get them if you want them. Yeah. They didn't have them on my size. Mm. So, now, mind you, this is after I get the three that I have, including the ones I'm wearing right now. You understand? Okay, you know what yeah. I like those. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, my dumb ass. The volume threes, yep. I was like, yo, since they don't have my size, yo, I'm cool. But see, I wasn't oh, thinking yeah. like a reseller. a reseller. You understand? Yeah, right, right, I was right, right, thinking right. like somebody that really wanted those shoes. Right, 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 right. So, bro, I told my coworkers, they were like, "Bro, you stupid as hell, bro." Yeah. But see, but 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 as a as a OG sneakerhead. Yeah, yeah. I consider myself an OG sneakerhead. They've okay, been doing this shit since like 2001. Okay. When when niggas had Nike talk. Yeah, yeah. Niggas wow. don't know about Nike talk. Yep. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm Nike talk days. Yeah. Like when 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 the um when the uh, when niggas had the Air Force One, the West Trinities, the Puerto yes, Ricans, yes, yes, that shit was high dollar then. You yeah, know what it I'm was. So it's so I'm 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 Nike Talk days, sneaker play days. Yeah, when they had. I don't know if you know sneaker play, but it was kind of like the MySpace of sneakers. Okay, you know what I'm saying sneaker play was like crazy. Okay. So I'm I'm from those days, bro, and it's like, mm-hmm. like um, I'm not. If I buy something, I'm rocking them shit. Lead up. I'm not buying shit to to flip. just to have and right, look exactly, at and shit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So I understand where you coming from because you was like, you know, what I'm saying, you wanted to keep them, but nah, but, dog, but I at, fucked at up. At this day and age, <laughs> yeah, right. At, at, at this day and age, bro, I would probably, I would have probably bought at whatever size I can get yeah. to trade to get yeah. my size. Well, okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? I respect like, that. So, so. Cause I see a lot of that shit going on. Like if yeah. I gotta trade and give you maybe an extra hundred, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Cause I really want these bitches. But like the day and age, nigga, like 
all these motherfuckers is niggas that would never have worn these shits back in the day. Yeah. They buying mm-hmm. these hoes. Yeah. To About fucking sell at a at a at from at a bulk to fucking mm-hmm. sell at a higher dollar. Yeah. Like my nigga, these what pissed me? What pissed me? Damn, the it's fuck a off. whole job out here. It's an occupation, bro. My nigga, the penny ones. <laughs> niggas claiming this shit on their tests. Yeah, yeah. Out. Orlando penny ones. Yeah. The motherfuckers right now on go for three hundred fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. I know half these little fuckers that got them don't even know who the fuck Penny Hardaway is. Yeah, one hundred percent. Ken Griffey Freshwaters, which is ones I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. These little fucks don't know. <laughs> they never seen Ken Griffey play. But I'm like, bro, you are yep. fucking niggas like me, dog. Cause yeah, 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 yeah. Because I want these shits. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm Penny ones. I want those. Yeah. Freshwaters. I want those, dog. 100%. And like. And they they just re released the the um the West Indies forces. I grabbed those. I saw that. Nostalgia. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. They were hundred fifty. Yeah. They was a hundred back in the day when when forces was seventy dollars. But you know how the game go, bro. Such is insane. You know how the game is. Why, why doesn't why doesn't Nike Adidas? I don't really see it as with Puma like that. Like they don't be like crazy like like that. But yeah. why don't these companies like do like a pre order type of shit? Where you can you can pay for the shoes up front and we get everybody that want these motherfuckers mm-hmm. and send them hoes out like that. Why don't they do shit like because, that? Because they because honestly, I believe that they are all tied into the resale game. Absolutely at, at are. Because that, like that, yeah, that, because, that. you you re- you release a certain amount mm-hmm. and you get the general public that amount, but then you get these people that buy them and resell them, and there's this portion of that. That goes back to the main company. Yes. Okay. See, I think what a lot of people okay. don't understand is, man, so these yeah. companies, Free they promotion. have a quota, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? And so if we're talking about the cost it takes to create the shoe mm-hmm. versus the sale value, and then even adding in the resale value portion, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. bro, they're making a fortune, they're making They're straight. Bro. They are and good. Like like the town, they had the story about the kid who mom was an executive for Nike. Saw that shit. And he was getting all them fucking Going kicks, crazy. And he mm-hmm. was reselling. And reselling. Going crazy. Yep. insane. Yeah, like, man. Like, it's, it's all over. It, it's it's free over. promotion, bro. Yeah. They can re-release the same shoe, the yeah. same everything, and make bank every single Oh, it's, time. A, it's a scam. Bro, bro, if you release literally. the same... Picture bro. this. You release the same shoe... Yeah. In 25 different colorways. Nigga, yeah. that's a scam. That's a scam. <laughs> yeah. 25. That's a scam, bro. My nigga, the Jordan 11s, the Space Jams was 135.30. Yep. And it, this with nigga tax. the exact price. With tax. 135. 135.30. Because they 125.99. Yeah. Yeah. With tax. One, yeah, 135.30 with tax. 8.25. Yes, my nigga. 135.30 yeah. with tax. Yeah. And this was in back in 2011. 12. No, no, you're talking about the first. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm just talking about, okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little older. 2001, <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> my nigga, my mom bought them shits from Katie Mills. Ooh, oh, shit. Like, yeah. She Ooh. walked in and was nobody in there, bro. So I was so, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, I'm that era. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. wood grain Air Force Ones. Oh, yeah. I'm that era, my nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, Bro, I'm just so hurt. <laughs> What's going on with the game right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So does and Kanye have a valid point about what he's what he's arguing? Because he does. some people would say you signed a contract, you know what I'm saying, or right. they would say you're being difficult to work with because we're trying to work, mm-hmm. uh, reach it's out to you. The same thing happened with Nike, a, though. Okay. So when he had mm-hmm. the, the Air Yeezy One mm-hmm. with Nike, yeah, he he left them for creative control. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he yeah. Fucked, Royalties. Exactly. Mm-hmm. He now he getting fucked by Adidas. He should have just fucking stayed with Nike. I wouldn't necessarily say he's getting he fucked. He's not, he not getting fucked, but they're taking that nigga out deal, though. Like, because, cause, cause okay. I, I don't know if you know, the Fear of Gods, Yeah. Mm-hmm. That for uh, Jerry uh, Lorenzo, Yes. those are really supposed to be the Air Yeezy 3s. Yep, the Air Yeezys. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. They're supposed to be same Yeezys. design, same everything. Same design and everything. If you look at them, it looks like some shit that he it designed. It was supposed to be the Yeezys Word. With, the, with the air bubble in the back. Yeah. Yep. I didn't know that. So so you had you had the Yeezy 1, yeah. the Yeezy 2, Twos. the Lorenzo supposed to be the Yeezy 3s. I didn't know. Oh, that's bro. crazy. Yeah, bro. Sheesh. Yeezy said that himself. But I just really feel like, man, if you you come into a... First of all, I feel like people have to understand that Kanye is very aware. Mm. Oh, like, for sure. Like, he knows what's going sure. on. He for knew... Sure. I'm pretty sure he looked at him and his team. Yep. They looked at the possibilities before he signed the contract. Right. I understand him. See, it's, it's a part of his brand. It's arguably a part of his brand to be... Argumentative, right? Right, like right. people have accepted that. that. That's him. A lot yeah. of us, we love him for that. Mm-hmm. 
So because of that fact, he gets away with a lot of shit. True. Right? True. I feel like, bro, he's not getting... F- like, I I feel him to a certain degree because it's like... You said what? You said NBA player throwing the fit. Nah, it's your man Kanye. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but no, nah, it's like league. that's an interesting mm-hmm. uh comparison. But no, nah, it's it's like you got fantastic ideas, bro. Right. And you you, you already admitted to the public, bro, like mm-hmm. 68% of their sales are from you, dog. Yeah. Like what do you expect, bro? Have, have, you, have you seen what they dropped 68% recently? 68% of that's online crazy. sales are Yeezys. Have have you seen what they dropped recently and they called it the Addy phone? Those are hard. They look I ain't gonna hold it like Yeezy. They, 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 they look like phone right. runners. Yeah, they like phone, like phone runners. runners. Like, yep. I feel them. I feel they are they cheaper. cheaper. I feel yep. it's like and I feel honestly, them, that's probably why right. he's pissed off. Because it's like, damn, this price point is a lot more accessible than my shit. But he wanted and y'all that. popping that's off of my shit. That's what he, he wanted. He left he, Nike he, for that shit. He, he, wanted, he wanted that cheaper price point. But your price point sells out, so I don't see what the fuck the problem is. It's supply and demand, What's them Pusha T's called? Oswagi or some shit like that? Them hoes hard. Yeah. Hard. And they comfortable as shit too. Yeah. yeah. But he's not getting the, the publicity that oh, my boy just said it. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. so with so with the so with the Yeezys, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, that they they two twenty. Mm-hmm. Like the three fifties or whatever. Yeah. And actually the seven hundred was three hundred dollars. I didn't even know that shit. And I was ready for Yeezy Day till I saw the prices and I said, Y'all can have that shit. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I know those are regular prices, but the thing I is the though, fuck out, nigga. I said I ain't keeping up with this shit today. So I, but, I ain't but, that shit. but have you noticed though? Mm-hmm. For the last three years, it's been the same releases. Like then they released the breads twice, mm-hmm. three times. Mm-hmm. Wave Runners at least five, six mm-hmm. times. Yeah. Bro. So they sitting on them hoes, bro. It's like yeah. they sitting on them, or they making them bitches up to like they sitting you know on saying? them, bro. Like they 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 run out, but they still have hella hella bro, shit. So they can do these surprise drops. I don't know, and man. I'm a little conflicted because I feel like I'm one you. side is that which you guys are saying right there sitting on, but the other side is. I kind of want to feel like he's being a little bit genuine and be like, you know what? I understand this is a limited release. Go release him again? Yeah, for and the people he, that, he that miss that. out. You know what I mean? And Kanye have said that. He said that he want everybody to get his shoes. Which Oh, I that nigga trying to take over. Yeah, I don't I don't take... And I hope he does. Them hoes yeah. are comfortable as shit. Nah, the can we say right this now like, shitting on real that. quick? Like, honestly, what he's... What, no, they, he's, what he has done... They shitting on Nike, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What he is doing and what he has done, what he has started, these are going to hate this shit. Mm-hmm. But what he has started, honestly, is unprecedented. It really it is. is. You got a rapper, someone, rapper, producer, artist, whatever you want to call him. Shout out is like, what, on a professional court? Right. Yeah. Someone who, man, stole our hearts as an artist, as a producer, as an MC, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you literally cross over into a totally different fashion icon. Like this is different, bro. Like yeah. who else has done that successfully Nobody. to this level? No one has. Nobody. I'm not. I'm not trying Drake to ride dick. Fail with them ugly ass shoes. All right, real quick. We not no Jay Hay when I'm around. Yeah. We not doing. That. I said Drake. Oh Drake. Drake. <laughs> oh okay. okay you about to yeah. shut that shit down. Right. 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 You about to shut that shit down. You about to fight me? Yes sir. Yes sir. You about to fight me? Wait, 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 bro. I, I think I had two pairs of S. Dot Carters. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Believe that. I had the black Believe and the whites. Yeah. But nah, man, it's just, it's it's a beautiful, and I feel like the reason why I'm saying that is because when, you, when you're in that space and you're in partnership with an artist who, who ha, you know, who is coming to this space that's not his space, he's not known for this space, right? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about when he first started. They're probably confused. They're probably like, well, damn, we we, we expected a certain amount of success, mm-hmm. but not the success to be this long standing, mm-hmm. right? Like Kanye is here probably forever in fashion, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure, right? And for years sure. ago when he was talking about it, there was a small group of people that actually believed him, mm-hmm. but a lot of that shit is actually happening in real life. Yeah, these motherfuckers are shook. Yeah. Let's go back to what you was talking about off camera, mm-hmm. Yeezus. Mm-hmm. The reason for that album is shit like this. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Getting locked out of the fucking the, the boys club. Yeah, yeah right. he said he was yeah, mad yeah. as hell That's when he made that shit. That's the fucking reason for that album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What yeah. Saying? For sure. Yeah, for sure. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, nigga, I'll punch you in your gut. <laughs> hey, hey, don't you do that shit? Are you? Well, what's up, DJ? Right, I personally, what's happening? Like, we got more time. Half of that huh? album. What's happening, bro? Half of that what? album. Is Why hard. are you so quiet? Yeah. Half of it. <laughs> Jesus, I I like Jesus. I like Jesus. I just Yeezus. be feeling the room. 
I'm one of the niggas that like Yeezys. He called us Bro, weird. I love Yeezys. He called us weird. weird. Yes, you did. You <laughs> niggas are weird. Bro, <laughs> I probably did. Hey, you niggas bro, are weird. How many, bro. Drinks, how many drinks I had bro, by the time I said it? Bro, nah, I had bullshit. <laughs> he was sober. Uh, I, yeah, right, right, I seen you with three cups. I wasn't sober then. <laughs> that was that Urban Social. Yes. Yeah, I wasn't sober. He called us weird. He was sober, bro. No, nah, Yeezys is a good album. We, we definitely blew your drunkness. Yeah, right. I like three songs. Um, Damn, just three? Look, I, I, I gotta go to the track list Cause this nigga terrible. delusion That's let, me, let me go to this It's only How it's many only songs on that motherfucker? It's like 13 like or some black shit skin like yeah. see, That's one I can tell you what I like Let's see. That's terrible that Don't go don't, 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 don't go all three. the way to Bound 2 Just cause oh, they're Right you know exactly we can, we can run through this real quick Let's do it oh, Hold on It's fine I can do it alone Cause I'm already My bad Glad I got a case Man yo I really Yo Sheesh and just like <laughs> man, a quick phone? side note: I really feel like man, Drake is really, really, really studying Kanye because so? I would, yeah, yeah I, I would liken, mm-hmm. I would liken Yeezus as far as if we're talking about synchronization, mm-hmm. I would liken Yeezus to uh, what is it called? Sorry, never mind. What is it called? Yeah, uh, yeah. I uh, honestly, never to know. where, yeah. Yeah, to where the majority of the album. It's experimental, yeah. but that last record was. I'm gonna yeah, give you what yeah, you know right, me, what right, you fuck right, with me right, for. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Drake is paying attention, man. Very cerebral. Yeah. You know what? Uh, oh yeah, and also so not a nigga triple H. You know what? I, I never, I never came across anybody that put it into that perspective. You know what I'm saying? And nah, I, I can't disagree with you with that because yeah, I, no, he, yeah. he, bro, that nigga loves Kanye. He Drake does, bro. loves Kanye. Bro. He does, bro. And yeah. Kanye loves him, but <laughs> it's not the same. I don't think it's the same level. Listen. It's a sidebar conversation. Hold on, yeah, no, we're talking about We got more topics, and we got an yeah. album review in in bars. Let's let me get, let me get ten tracks. Let me, I'm gonna go through. Y'all don't judge my life. I'm just being honest, okay? Uh, I gotta remember what this shit sound like. <laughs> it's on site, yeah. Right. Ain't a lot of fuck with this. Yeah. Very disruptive, but it jams. Hey, hey. Yes, I know. I oh, mean, go to uh, okay. Just hey. I like this one. Yes, sir. That one grew on me. Skip straight to I'm in it. I am a yeah. god. I'm in mean, it. It's hard. I just don't like the screaming at the end. That's the only shit. I can't bump that shit in the car. Motherfuckers pull up on the side of me. Ah! That's the only thing. That shit scared the shit out you, boy. <laughs> boy, wake up! That shit scared the shit out you. See what I'm saying? His favorite movie is actually school Nigga, days. I remember so, as a kid. Saying, niggas didn't I notice how deep he was trying to be. I remember as a kid listening to Kings of Crunk album, Lil John. Mm-hmm. That nigga woke me up out of my sleep. I used to have a boombox. I used to sleep next to that hoe. <laughs> that nigga woke me up. I was so bad. Oh, this hard. I like that one. Okay. That's I like hard. that one. Okay. I like that one. I like that one. Okay. Tough. Tough. That's Chief Keith, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I'm back on my ground. Bitch, I'm back on my coma. Yeah, there we go. Yo, real quick. No, no, no. Pause it real quick if you can. Yo. Can we talk about the genius real quick? The genius behind... Behind having Chief Keith on that nigga. particular record, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bro. You can have my headphones. No, you're no, not, no. He asked for a door key. Just, oh, I'm oh, it's, out, it's out there on the couch. I'm I think. Out of here, you know what I mean, um, no, the nigga already sounds like he's drunk, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> like naturally. Right. Right. So to have him on that record, fantastic. Go ahead. I'm saying, I mean, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I'm, I mean, it don't do it for me. Uh, I like oh, blood on the leaves. Strange fruit? This I said I like that one. Okay, cool. Hey. Yeah, so. <laughs> Sound like you like four of them already. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I ain't gonna lie, that's a skill for me. Hey, yeah. Yeah, no. So five out of ten, my bad. Five out of ten. So that's, 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 that's five out of ten. Bad. Boy, shoot fifty percent. You thought it was two. That is fifty percent. I said four. Oh, okay. Well, if you, you shoot, if you he still change your own mind, brother. If he was a mid-range <laughs> shooter, you would say that is a pretty good percent. But he not. He's a rapper. Um, <laughs> Oh, you wow. still shooting. <laughs> oh shit! Still shooting from the free. Show. I I applied the creativity. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. Um, That's interesting. I'll talk about that nigga later. Um, I was at the crib today, right? 
yeah. Watching uh, one of them BET channels where they play music videos all day. Mm-hmm. They had a segment of straight remixes. Mm-hmm. Not counting, I don't want to hear no hove today. Don't want to hear no hove today. You had oh. enough already, right? Oh, no. Nah, well, 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 yeah. Um, and we did that last week, too. So, this yeah. Here, Who has the greatest guest verse remix resume? Oh, Kiss a diff. I said no ho, bitch. Okay, I know. Kiss a diff. Remix. Oh, I got it for you. Kiss I got diff. it for you right here. Kiss a diff. Got a, I forgot about Luda until you said it. Luda is on a lot of motherfucking yeah, records. Man. That nigga went crazy on Nas. Uh, that I nigga major, major look. look. Oh, yeah. major look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And but they yeah. Not yeah. Kiss still got the hardest Coast. verse to me, bro. Kiss still got the hardest verse on that hoe to me. I don't um, care. Even though who. Nas, like all three of them niggas had a hard verse, but Kiss the way he, I. I I'm just trying to make sure that my son's wealthy. Out of shape, but I make sure that my gun's healthy. I'm an ape. You can't stand kiss. Coming in the- no, 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 no. He ain't. He ain't. The color but- of dandruff. Like, Luda's, fantastic. Luda's voice was, was very commanding when he would come on those remixes. That, that was He's good definitely for more curious you in the verse when I can then- put you in a corner van. D-block. Like, what? No, he ain't. That's that, a fantastic that nigga, remix. That nigga bottom. kiss went crazy. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent, my boy. Yeah, yeah, I'm from yeah, the yeah, school yeah, of hard knocks, yeah, me yeah, peaks yeah. and low blows, yeah, where yeah. exes mark spots and kitchens mark O's. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, all them niggas got a body, bro. 100%. As 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 rappers, what do remixes like that make y'all feel like? It makes me want to rap. Yeah, like that, yeah. That, that's, that's, shit, that's the shit that make you want to go re- get in the gym, that's right? A, no, that's, that's a remix. A, yeah, that's literally your time to command the stage, bro. Like nigga, that's on a, on a remi- on a posse cut. Yeah, that's yeah, literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's literally. Shout out to Texas Relays. Uh, shameless plug. Uh, that's, that's that's literally. That's I've never literally, heard that one before. That's, that's, literally, one? that's literally. That's literally the hard. Like, bro. Like, can you imagine? Like, and Nas verse was hard. He was still rapping. They had yeah. to fade him out. Yeah, yeah. Like Nas yeah, was going yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. He was like, hell no. <laughs> nah, man. It's honestly, man. Like, it's fun, bro. It's just, it's fun, bro. Like rapping with people. Where you respect their talent, you respect their contributions, you respect what they do. And I wish I was a rapper. It's fun, bro. And niggas didn't sound the You same. could be. And you have bravado to be a rapper, niggas bro. Did, you could Duval could be a rapper. Yeah, yeah. Who you the fuck on the mic? Yeah. I got so styles. much shit to say, bro. Absolutely. Like, bro. Oh, you oh can, Lord, no. I would love to be a rapper, Hey, bro. strap like a dyke in Nigga, I'll be... I'll be. national <laughs> treasure. Bro, I would... Don't get that nigga started. This nigga can be a rapper. Bro, I would be like, if Dame Dash is up being a rapper, yeah. Oh, that's... If okay. Dame Dash ended up being a rapper, bro, that's me. Like, <laughs> I'm like a lot, bro. Yeah, you I am Dame Dash. Either be a rapper Dash. or a stand-up comedian, my G. Bro, I, I got to find my avenue, bro. Life. Verizon ain't paying me no. <laughs> fuck them bitch-ass niggas. Edit nah, point. Nah, yeah, nah yeah. fuck that. Let <laughs> them niggas hear this shit. Fuck this them niggas. We all in. Fix my still commission, nigga. You loyal. You loyal. Yeah, fix my commission. <laughs> you loyal. Y'all still got to take your shirts in? Huh? So gotta take shirt nah, out. we got these regular bullshit ass shirts, but man, fuck them niggas, man. <laughs> Pay me, nigga. Love. That's tough. Um, okay, all right. <laughs> right. Tubbs I, got fired the next day. <laughs> I asked uh, the other day. I think it was yesterday or the day before. I asked the homies in a in, in a group chat that I'm in because they have affiliations and shit. This question, right? Because uh, recently, uh, rapper Quando Rondo mm. was in L.A. And he got oh, and, he, and, and, and he got ambushed, <laughs> and his cousin. Hey, he like, nah, hey, quit. hey, hey quit. stop, stop, stop laughing! While I'm talking about somebody dying, bro. Hold on, you can laugh oh, in a yeah. second. Oh my bad. His cousin, his cousin was killed in L.A. while they was out in L.A. chilling. So, as of following the funeral and everything, Quando Rondo is saying, "Fuck this gang shit, y'all not jumping me out. I'm dropping my flag." <sighs> Bro. But like you use that gang shit to sell your music, <sighs> and, and 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 now you want to say it's gang shit. I, I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not a thug no more. Yeah, but nigga, it's kind of late, bro. This gang like, shit ain't for everybody, bro. I ain't gonna. I've been affiliated since like we not, 05. <laughs> Dash, you call for the ISO. I'm not. I'm not playing with that nigga tonight. Dash, you call for the ISO. He's out and affiliated. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, 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 I know a couple of handshakes. Yeah, couple of stacks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, bro. Listen, I'm a family man. Like, why are we surprised though? That's what. That's to me. That's the more important question. This to publicly, to ball? publicly drop your flag, I am surprised. No, you're not. Boy, yes, I am. How, how, uh, how old is how old is this nigga? 24? Twenty three, twenty four. He he, young and yeah, somewhere in the mid mid twenties. Just got jumped in, 
He thought it. Oh, no, nah, he been rapping looked, for he been rapping for years. He been throwing that flag up. He for thought a few it was sweet, years. but he probably he thought it was sweet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yo. This yeah, he's twenty. He's twenty three. What, what is he affiliated with? Yeah, bro, I'm looking at boom, 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 boom. This working for them. You know what I mean? I I got what homies. You know what I mean, it's like, bro, you young, you dumb, you stupid. You know what I'm saying? Your family died, and you want to drop your flag. Nah, nigga, you gotta pick that bitch up so, and keep riding, nigga. There ain't no out there in this house. But, so, it, but again, do you want? Do you might you want that. You might type be putting. Of, you might be putting a bigger target on your back, dropping the flag like that. Yeah, for sure. Because now yeah, you yeah, got yeah, yeah. what you had carrying it. So yeah. So because Lil Wayne never dropped this shit. He, Lil Wayne never. He, he changed Wayne colors. Lil Wayne never. He, he changed colors. That nigga changed colors. <laughs> him, <laughs> him and baby. The extortion. He, he can't. Block. He cannot. The extortion. Rapping his block. Oh, for sure. Extortion. Extortion. Who, Wayne, Wayne? Wayne Big Blood. What? Getting extorted? What? Because yeah. uh, that, that shine video, Wayne what you was you call the ISO like for, bro? What you call the ISO for? Go ahead, go ahead, so, go ahead, go ahead. We ain't going to detour for all. I go would, ahead. you know, I'd, I'd feel bad. I'd really feel bad if the King Von thing didn't happen and he wasn't at the forefront instigating this shit. I'd feel really bad. If he was remorseful about that, he's not. He wasn't remorseful. It was. It was. It was. He was cripping, cripping, cripping. In a in an interview that I seen, the man said before he asked God for forgiveness, he was like, "Well, God, I can't stop cripping." And then his cousin died, and then he say, "I'm gonna put down my flag because y'all niggas don't care about me. I'm not neighborhood no more." And if you know, mm. that is probably the biggest, the crip biggest game. crip game. That yeah. is the biggest crip game. So not only did you, not only are you not sliding for your cousin, like you, like you. So criticize the people behind King Von and all this shit because you want to be signed to NBA Young Boy yeah. and all of that other shit. Not only did you do that, <laughs> but you literally went on Instagram with it. You literally went on a public platform. He's a kid. He went. He did not consider any ignorance, of these logical things that you're saying, bro. Ignorance to the law is no excuse. If I go out, if I go, if I pull out this parking lot and I do not have my seatbelt That's on fair. and I get pulled over by the police, yeah. even if I say, hey, I just pulled out the parking lot, I didn't know I had to put it on right away, the nigga's still going to give me a ticket. That's you know? fair. If he a hoe. <laughs> and 99% yeah. of these lies is hoes. So I'm getting a ticket. 97. Listen, <laughs> they tell you, they they tell you when you like niggas you there is no there is no nigga there is no drop your flag that that is that is a blemish on you forever that is a blemish on, that is a blemish on There's you people forever. from the city that have dropped their flags before. We, we, city. Love them, okay, we city. Okay, okay, okay. We city. love okay, them. Okay, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Our city. Hold on. Exactly. Hold on. Question. Not California. Question. No, we're talking okay. about Houston, Texas. We're not talking about California, LA. You know what? That's question fair for the as rappers. Well. Question for the rappers that's in the building. When you start your career off like that, do you think you can continue after such things, though? It's with, a way that you can nah, do it. I got to switch with, it up. It's a way with, that you can With do their it. audience. It's a way that you can do it. You think yeah. the young motherfuckers going to You think the young motherfuckers going to respect that shit? Yes. Nip had the much damn respect. Yes. Bro, these young niggas nah, are Nip, so forgiving. Nip had the much damn respect. Ridiculous. Nip didn't have to do the shit no more, but, but Nip never stopped claiming Crip. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. We don't know a rapper that said I was I was this at a certain time and now I'm not from that. California. We from do from California. Houston. If you know, you know. If you from Houston, but that's different. That that You're is right. why that's a valid point. When you speak to niggas from the land, they don't respect nobody from the land. It's it's we few just, niggas that they respect. We just I can't remember what the little motherfucker was name was. Uh, shit, it was one of them goddamn rappers. But the motherfucker just said, if I stop rapping about this shit, y'all won't listen to my music no more. Twenty one. Yeah, 21 said the shit. And 21, big as shit. He a blood. But that nigga said, if I, never, if, 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 if I stop rapping this content, you guys won't but support me no he more. Said. He didn't say, I'm dropping my flag and I'm not blood no more. He didn't he say that. Said that. Well, well, which, well, which in turn makes blood it worse. Never drop their flag, no, nigga. Well, wait a minute. That's because because worse. He's still out, blood. Man. Context is very important. To, you have to say the reason why he said that. Okay, 21 Savage was saying that people were saying all he rap, all they rap about is blah, 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 blah. Big blue. And he's and he was like, <laughs> that, that, that was a conversation, no, 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 right? No, no, no. Which, which conversation Actually, was it? So, okay, he he, uh, in so many words, man, he criticized. He, he criticized something, man. It was it was gun violence was in the city there and a lot go. of and there you go. more there gun violence go. than that. But you got to think of who he was when he first came out versus now. He now has financial literacy. No, that's he not fair because he's still rapping no, about the same shit. He still raps about the same shit, <laughs> but he's stuck in that box. When we talk about Twenty One Savage, yeah. we talk about him. Do you realize you're making my point? Stand over your Do you realize you're making my point? Yeah. Do you realize you're making my point? 
that's fine. But what I'm saying is, just say DJ, you was right. He didn't. He didn't get DJ. You was right. This nigga funny. <laughs> Fuck DJ. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> he never got on a public platform and said, "I'm disowning the gang that I got into this game." No, he's with. never done that. No, he's he never has done. never, he's done, never that. done that. What he's he said done. was, "We got to be smarter and we got to be wiser in regards to the decisions that we making in our real life because we losing too many people." And listen, I'm top. Guess I'm what? I'm tired of people I, acting I know, like you know can't be no, smart you know, you know, you and still be a part of a gang. Are you gang tied? Huh? Are you gang tied? I'm not. I know a lot of people. I'm heavily. Okay. But heavily. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. You gang tied? Heavily. Okay. I don't see how heavily. you gang tied. How you think nothing Hell changes no. okay. with, changes for his career after after doing this? No, listen. Because because he's not a great rapper. Who's he, not a he's great rapper? Much better. Quando he's Rondo. Better. Oh sure. Quando Rondo. I was gang He's tied. one of the melodic. He's one of those melodic rappers. I, I can I can I can I've heard about five songs that I'd be like, all right, that's cool. If I didn't know him as a person, I'd like those songs. Oh, that's but, fucked up. Damn. No, nah, he's a shitty but, person. But yeah, like, Damn, he, shit, he's bro. one of those niggas that was yeah, laughing. Yeah, he's an asshole nigga. Like, where somebody dies, he's online laughing about it. Yeah, oh, he's one of those. He's playing yeah, the role. Man, listen, he's bro, he's, he's playing the part, but that's your fault. That's young nigga shit. Like, these young niggas are How long do you stupid. excuse it, though? How long do you excuse it? No, I'm not excuse. necessarily excusing it, brother. But what I understand is that he's young, he's dumb, he's stupid, and guess what? He's trying to get his money, bro. Listen, I'll be, 30, I'll be 30 on September 19th. This nigga young too. Party never, it up. never, never, never. I have never partied up in any, in any, in any situation. <laughs> I go for a certain up. part. Once you get down with certain shit, or once you put your name on certain shit, that is your name forever. I don't care if you reformed. I don't care if you start going to church. Facts, nigga. That op is going is is not going to catch you lacking and be like, I remember back in the day when that nigga used to. It's going to be like, nigga, you're always my op. So. Don't like you sign up for that shit. That's tough. You That's do facts. sign up for it. You but do once, sign, up sign up for, for that. You but do once for again, it. where do you then in turn go musically? Because you can't be that same nigga. Get out I, of music. I don't want to hear it. Get no, out of music. no, no, no. All right then. That's my Stop point. Making music. You can't. You can't Stop have the music. same career. If you can't do your career you is do done. It, transition. I got a point. Transition your music. I got a point. You can't. You, okay. you can't openly you tell got? me what you got? dropping your flag and then want to still be a rapper. It don't even have to be gang shit. You can go. You can talk about like Chance the Rapper. His, yeah. his shit that got him blown up, acid rap, yeah. drug rap yeah. type right, shit, right? right, yeah. right, right. His niggas start making it, I love my wife music, yeah. niggas gone. Yeah. Niggas out of there. I don't want to hear that shit. No, 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 I don't want to hear that shit. No, 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 Because that album was ass. The album. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. No. Wait, which one? Wait, Coloring it book? Wasn't no, not Coloring Book. The one after Coloring Book. It wasn't the subject matter. What was it? It was the actual music. The music was It was the music. It's Kanye's fault. Niggas fuck with Fonte from Little Brother heavily. Heavy. Okay. I'm a Fonte heavily. fan. Because niggas can fucking rap about that shit. And you I'm a, fuck with I'm, I'm right. a fan of Fonte. His execution, Chance of Rappers that is, mm -hmm. was, was not was good. Piss poor. It was piss For sure, for sure, for sure. My point is, bro, it's not the subject matter. It's... The execution. execution. But I think it's music. one and the same because if I grab an audience off of, hey, I'm doing X, Y, Z, I'm doing acid. Yeah. And that audience. Overrated ass mixtape. <laughs> that audience oh, right oh, there. Shit. That that audience right That's there tough. ain't living like, oh, I got a girl or I got a wife that I'm trying to be dedicated to and raise a family I and shit. I slightly disagree the, because, the, again, the content they is also different. grew up with Chance the Rapper. So, again, I don't think it's a subject matter, bro. It's the execution. Them beats were trash. For sure. I, I, I agree with the execution. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for and sure. Chance, hey, bro, and I was pissed the fuck off, bro. Yeah, I was mad as hell listening to that long ass, ass yeah, shit. Like, circles around niggas. Mm -hmm. And you drop that shit, and you got, you got the That was machine. a long, bad album. Bro, you got the machine behind you. You doing all this press, all these interviews. You talking it up. Niggas is ready for your shit to drop. That mm -hmm. shit, nigga, I was riding down 610. I'm going to jam this chance to see what's happening. Mm -hmm. That shit was terrible. Very much so. The fuck happening? From the first song. <laughs> From the first song. What's it, that shit called? Hot shower? Nigga, hot garbage, nigga. Terrible. <laughs> and we it, love it Chance. Trend. That, was, a, that right. was him. And we love Chance. Chance is literally, what he did on that album, what I'll say, on, what, I'll say what Chance tried to do is he tried to catch a wave. And usually with his music, he's not trying to catch a wave. He's no. just doing what no. he switch, embodies. Switch so if you listen to acid rap and then listen to everything after, including Coloring Book, Coloring Book was a pretty good project, but I hated it. But it was still pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what I'm saying? But acid rap was different because it was a breath of fresh air of shit we never heard before. And mm -hmm. I think he's one of those artists that hit his ceiling. And he and acid rap, 
he did like basically he took a chance and a risk of you know getting all these people, all these talented people to sing background vocals and all that shit, and it sounded like an album. And he hit his ceiling, and everything was great to the point where nigga, we want acid rap again. Where's acid rap? That's why I think 144 days is the best thing he put out. The nigga fell into the trap, man. He fell into Kanye's trap. You have trap, to understand. But that's another story. Not even the Kanye trap, brother. He fell into the Drake trap. Niggas were literally saying, Chance is going to take Drake's place. Niggas are on record in saying that Chance is the next one. I really feel like I'm on a vibe right now. Molly in my drink, I hope I don't come down. Shotty go to NC State. Fuck it for a day and I was on my way. I'm on a vibe right now. Molly in my drink, I hope I don't come down. Shawty go to NC State. Fucked it for a day and I was on my way. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the road, I'm doing shows. This is life. I'm doing what I want to mean it's always right. I only promise be your man for the night. This in the morning, gotta catch another flight. To another city. Bad bitches in the club, you know they rollin' with me. I got the champagne with me and we fuck with Henny. In the club right now, in the club right now. We just living life, trying to get it right. Fuck with you for the right price. I've been living life, trying to get it right. Fuck with you for the right price. I've been sipping. Sick work. We just, don't care about it, but she's a pack. Just Our like parents. you motherfuckers that care about Elvis. Smoke that bitch. She's a pack. Smoke that bitch. Doja. All right, we are back. <laughs> Smoke that bitch. She's um, a pack. <laughs> First off, fuck the queen and the <laughs> click you claim. <laughs> the click you claim, huh? God damn. All right, fam. We are here. We are here. We are here. Oh, we are back. And. This part of the show is dedicated to our guest in his debut album, It Is What It Is. Yes, sir. Out now on all DSPs, search It Is What It Is, search Tay Allen. Either way, you're going to get straight to it. Uh, we will have the link in the bio of this episode. Uh, Matthew, you want to start? Yes. Um, <clears throat> it'll be short and concise. Uh, Tay, um, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Over here. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, DJ. Yeah. yeah. I got to hang on. That nigga's a hoe. <clears throat> it's been a minute. That's why y'all love me. It's oh, okay. It's his. Whore. Whore. Yeah. Whore. <laughs> first, Whore. first and foremost, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Because I know you've been waiting for this. I know everything oh, that went man. into this. Um, The same thing I told you the first time I met you. It blows my mind that people walk around and live like y'all live. Like... We we have conversations us this side of the table separately mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from like that side of the table and we go you know this nigga I just played basketball with him and he missed a fucking wide open layup mm-hmm. it's bullshit mm-hmm. and then you press play on your phone and some shit happens mm-hmm. this guy here just fucking told me what's the best thing to get my traps working and now he's gonna fucking drop some bars I you know how I feel about the whole Clark Kent Superman. Mm-hmm. This this shit at not only being your coming out party but being like everything you do. Whoa whoa pause. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make this know. I love Childish. women. <laughs> <laughs> I love pussy. Childish, All shades of pussy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No man. Okay, okay we good. Yeah. Velvet tacos. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to be an actual interviewer here. Yeah. Nah, I'm out party like you setting this nigga up. <laughs> I would never do that. The hood is listening. Do that. The hood hey, is listening. The streets hey, are listening, hey, nigga. Those shows pay too, bro. Everybody's money's green. You the streets are nothing. listening, nigga. Yeah. You gonna sing your song? You said the streets listen. Go, the streets gonna listen. Gonna sing your song. <laughs> but nah, man. All in all, because uh, because I wasn't on it, I'll give yeah. you a four now. Oh man, because you weren't on it. But no, man, great project. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Tubbs. He didn't listen yet. I have it. I have it. Dash, you want to go? I got that shit for you too, Tubbs. I know what you like. You like cold raps? Yes. You know what I mean? Bro. And you like that real shit. Bro, I got that shit for you. Bro, I I would... You gonna have him punching the wall, bro. Next, next, next episode, you got full review, bro. (laughs) All right, I got you. You know what you gonna have him doing? So, Dash, you you good or you need me to go? (laughs) 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 Come on. Yeah. Got me Cuba Gooden Jr.? Dog. Oh, man, let's go. Press play, nigga. I love it. Man. I love it, bro. Let's go. I love it. Dash, Dash? You, cut, you cussing somebody out via text or what? My bad. 
He's enthralled. Now that's, I see that's a lot his, of dumb That's movement. his little season. All right, I'll go ahead and go. Pepperoni, um, m- mushrooms. Damn, that shit. Bell peppers. Right, used to using this shit. Extra cheese. All right. So, the album was supposed to be out, like, when was the album supposed to be out? It was supposed to be out on the 13th. There you go. But it didn't. Mm-hmm. And my nigga gave us the three pack, right? Mm-hmm. And said, nigga, I went and played the three pack. I hit this nigga immediately. And I said, I don't know what the fuck is on this album, but I know number two from this three pack should have been on whatever the fuck you about to drop. And my nigga told me, hey, just be patient mm-hmm. and listen, and I got you. My nigga had me. Yep. <laughs> my nigga had me, bro. Yeah. Uh, Cause still shout out to Big Dog. Big Dog is still my shit though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Big I, know, I, dog. I think the, the the next episode of On Mute that drop, I think we actually started that hoe with Big Dog. Um, so or the last episode if you catch if you gotta catch up and shit. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, ten songs, right? Ten songs. Ten so. Artists' first two albums are always interesting to me to see where they go and what they decide to do with the project, right? A lot of artists do the, uh, I'm going to show you why I'm here, or I'm going to show you why I'm nice, or they're going to try to make a complete project. You know, it, it's just this, this, that, because, you know, they always say the, the whole cliche of you've been making your first album your whole life. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, this album was very interesting to me because knowing you, I hear your I, I hear your favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear your favorites. <laughs> the album starts off and I hear "Be Free." Yeah, you're from Cole. I, I hear I hear the Cole, uh, in in a few songs, and then you get to like I, I want to say maybe it was is it is he the Jabroni? Or something? I can't remember what it is, but then I hear the Kendrick. Mm-hmm. I, I I hear the dot in there too, and then you also hear a little bit of yourself. Not to say that you copying these niggas or not, sure. but you know everybody has the influences and shit. I have my own. People say I be talking this bitch like Joe Button sometimes. So fuck it. Um, like Joe, <laughs> you know I'm an asshole in everyday life, bro. It's, it's, it's nothing new. He is niggas out here parallel and shit. Yeah, um, equivalent. Danny Myers <laughs> in he's a parallel a universe. Synonyms. Synonyms. <laughs> he, he's little Joe. Oh, no, he's good. Oh, no. Thank one. you. Um, we can run through these. I'm gonna run through these bitches. Uh, it is what it is. Great fucking intro. I love how you came in the bitch with the harmonizing type shit too as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, then you got your bars off of I'm that nigga. Uh, run it up. Fucking fire. Uh, Southside was dope. Uh, I like how you had the um, the, the screw, the, the slow down third verse. H-Town was, Anthem. Was that you or is that actually another person? It's another person. Oh, okay. I didn't know yeah, if that was another actually. Another person. Somebody old really, ass cousin. Somebody really is named Old Ass Cousin. Old Ass Cousin. You know what I mean? What? Wait. Old ass, I can't wait to, to hear this old shit, dog. I can't mm-hmm. wait to hear this shit. Yes, sir. That shit fit, though. Didn't that, and old ass cousin sounded like an old ass H Town nigga. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> it sounded like a nigga that was rapping with, with, he, with Pokey still, and Pat. He and still wears starchy Archies? <laughs> <laughs> no, my nigga fashionable, bro. Okay, my nigga okay, fashionable. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? That's just the name Archie. of the record. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Um, Jabroni. Stay flow. Jabroni, Mo Flows, Mo, sh- Mo Shit Talking, mm-hmm. Mo Rapping Your Ass Off, bro. Is that, was that like a little bit, or it may have been just the tone of it, but it sounded very, uh, what's that fucking sci-fi show that used to be back in the day? Um, With, uh, uh, Scully and them niggas. X-Files. X-Files. It, sounded, X-Files. it had that little X-Files. Do, 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 shit do, in it. Do, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that shit. That shit. Was, that shit was live. That was already a single, so I already heard that bitch. But it sounds better in the flow of the album. Mm-hmm. Not saying that it was bad beforehand, but you know how records just fit when you when you get the flow right into it and flow out of it. Yes, sir. So I fuck with that shit. Um, then we get to this is where I gotta give you your flowers, bro, because and Dash does this as well too. But we're not talking about Dash. They fuck that nigga. <laughs> um, Damn, I respect it. I would never I re- say that to you, Mr. Dirty. I respect y'all because, <laughs> and this nigga over here does it too, little motherfucker. Um, little motherfucker. Uh, y'all have the ability to make girl records where I don't feel awkward as your homie listening to them. Mm-hmm. And I like mm-hmm. that. You, you, you can get your female bars off and a nigga don't feel like, ah, oh, I don't want to hear my nigga talk like this. Let me skip this shit. It sounds, it, sounds like, it sounds like I'm listening to a stranger rap about bitches. So I like it. Very intense. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I can't listen to West Side talk about bitches. I just, and you don't even know that nigga. Yeah, Grab yeah, your yeah, neck, right. spit in your yeah, face. Yeah, right. I, I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, a, what's the Grab next track? Bitches, and what's the next track? Is that yeah, the second yeah, bottom? Yeah. That nigga walked off with the second bottom? Oh, he yeah, walked no. off with it. He tried oh, to go okay. home. Yeah, he about to go um, home. Pussy. Um... I hit this nigga on Twitter 
uh, actually yesterday too about these next two records, right? Mm-hmm. So he has an "On My Way" and an "On My Way" part two. But if y'all know me, I don't look at my phone when I'm listening to shit. Mm-hmm. So he played the first "On My Way," which is what I introduced us, what I led us into this topic with to begin with. Uh, and I said, "Who the fuck is this nigga singing at the beginning of this goddamn song?" Because that shit was a motherfucking vibe, and not so many words. But um. And as as I was waiting for his reply, the bitch led into part two. And the second nigga was on it like that too, but just with a different vibe. But both of them still kind of like, you don't lose the flow between part one and part two. It's just two different niggas with two different singing abilities. But the shit kept a smooth vibe. One of them was like, I'm on my way to get that pussy. And then part two was like, I'm here to hit that pussy. Mm-hmm. And, so, <laughs> and so the shit was fire, bro. I fucked with it. I fuck, I fuck with that transition, dog. Um, test me. Mm-hmm. I love it as a first single. I wish more people would have caught on to the hoe as a first single. That is very outside of the Houston box, which I is which is what I like because I don't like us to be pigeonholed. Um, I really fuck with that record. I fuck with Cars and I fuck with Mick, Mick Jenkins. So that's my shit. I even made like you know, I made the LeBron thing for that bitch mm-hmm. when LeBron hit that three and turned around, looked at the bench. Yes, that's sir. how long that record been out. Which how long we've been waiting for this shit. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yes, sir. Ain't blue. Just waiting for the crew. Repping the crew. I fucks with it. Gotta rep your motherfucking label in my zone. That was that that that's for emo DJ. I love that shit. And I appreciate you <laughs> yeah. for putting some shit out like that. Because that's the that type of shit I put in the car after I get done ready to cuss out my wife. But I can't cuss her out because I still want some ass later. So I put in my zone on. Oh, that's yeah. how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes sometimes you just gotta sacrifice for the sake of getting pussy later. Okay. It's all good. So I want to tell you this. While I was the listen- long game. Yeah. While I was listening to the album, there was a point where I got to like, um, cause I know some artists do this on their first album, some do it on their second. You know, you never know when you're really gonna get it. But part of the introduction is letting the people know more about you mm-hmm. yourself as a man and not just an artist. And so um I was like, damn, I was still kind of waiting for more of that. I mean, you you gave you gave stuff here, you gave bars here and there about your mom, your family life, and everything and growing up. Mm-hmm. And I and I and I respect all that shit that you hit on. But I was like, damn, it's still missing. Just like I feel like if somebody is listening to this, they still may not know who Tay is. Mm-hmm. And then you get the fucking family trauma, dog. You told this nigga you was waiting on your son. You you said it without saying you was waiting on a little man to be born mm-hmm. to complete your album. And mm-hmm. I respect it because even in, in the back and like in like instead of having a hook, you got you talking about what it means to be a father mm-hmm. and everything to your son. And so I, that shit was all love because as a man and a father, I felt that shit. How much we hated him for that? Man. God, we hated you for man. that. Man. And so to, to lead in with the, the first verse, of you just talking about being a father and having a son. That shit was dope. And I was like, oh, okay, we good. We got a, a daddy record. And I was like, but that's not... I was, I was, I'm thinking to my... I'm listening to the first thing. I was like, it's not really that traumaful, though, per se. And but I was like, but I, this is what I need to give the nigga the score I need to give. And then the motherfucker goes into the second verse, dog. And you start talking about you. Yeah, you start talking about your pops. And it's just like, okay, this nigga went there. Like he 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 really went there, and you can hear it in your voice. You can hear it in the inflection, the attitude, and the way you rap the bars. I was like, "Oh, that shit is fucking there." My nigga did that shit. Then, so that's the end of the project, people. My bad. Ten tracks, thirty minutes. Production on point all the way through. Not a bad beat Damn, to be I found. Wait. I can't wait to hear this shit. Man. All the the the, the, the singers crazy. the singers came through and did their shit. Cos McJenkins did they shit. Old ass cousin did shit. <laughs> Shout, <laughs> Shout out to old dope ass cousin. Yeah, Shout you know, out to old I, ass I, cousin. That's I'm your mad. real cousin, right? Man, old ass cousin, man. Um, no, it's not my real cousin, but but for this whole project to get done, old ass cousin was probably the most vital part of this. Vital. Yeah. Goddamn, that was the motherfucking the the engine of yeah. this project. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Wouldn't be a project without old ass cousin. Oh That's shit. That's a fact. Okay. The last to go Shout probably. Shout out to old ass cousin. Shout out to old ass cousin. The last to go will probably talk about this more in depth because he's the one to hit me about this shit. But the project sounds fucking crisp, bro. Y'all gotta step y'all shit up, bro. Out there, it's a lot of Houston niggas that's up and coming that have good ass sounding projects. Shit. And, and, and I'm talking. Period. And I, I'm, I'm talking about. about and I'm talking about like the mixing and mastering part oh, of okay. the shit. Y'all shit sounds good from start to finish because that part I hate when that part gets 
lacked on. Mm-hmm. Like, like you did good all the way through making this project, and then you let the shit come out sounding ass, and that shit's not what's up. Uh, this project sounded crystal fucking clear, bro. Like, like I was damn near in the studio yeah. with you while you was rapping these motherfucking bars. Um, I give the album a four or five, bro. Man, man, I, I give it. A, I give it a four or five. I've listened to this shit in the in the AirPods at work with the with the noise cancellation shit on. I listen to these shits in the, the, the truck, which is my version of a sound cabin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, 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 that I can afford. Yeah, yeah. That shit sounded good in that motherfucker, and it sounded good on the Beats pill, bro. I, I can't fucking knock your shit, bro. I'm fucking proud of you, my nigga. The same shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting my shit out. Fuck what you niggas is talking about. A little bit of transparency here and there, but it gets the family trauma when you're talking to your seed. And I haven't done a record like that yet. I I I I personally haven't because I want it to be I'm I'm my biggest critic when it comes to something like that and if I and if it wasn't up to par with what I deemed would be great and I'm just speaking to me for artists not to take away from your shine cuz it's an excellent fucking project um if it wasn't what I deemed to be excellent, excellent excuse me I wouldn't it would never come out I'd be upset like I'd be sitting with that song and it'll be irking me. Mm-hmm. But to hear, you know what I'm saying, and how you tied your interview and talking about being a father and talking about, you know, what we go through as, as black fathers, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and talking about what you what you what we go through and, and the the woes that we have of being like we like it's always a thing where, you know, the mother is always worried, but they don't talk about the father having those same things, but we have to be the the the, the glue that holds everything together. Yeah. If you're fortunate enough to still be in that situation. So yeah, on a personal level, that's being a, being a father of two, that, that definitely, you know, touched me in a different place. Pause. Um, I gotta say that cause niggas is immature. But, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, dog. But niggas is immature. Niggas just want to catch niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Pause. I bet. I bet. Uh, <laughs> nah, but it's uh, me. But all in all, this is a solid. This is a solid project, and I and I gauge it to if somebody if this was their if this was their first time listening to you, I think this will be a solid introduction. And if you have you know music prior, which I'm sure you do, they'll this this project will make them go back and listen to your growth to get to that point. Yeah. So I think it was a it's a solid introduction as far as an album, and it's a solid album. Thank you, thank you, no doubt. Thank you, thank you. Man, 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 man. Just to go back to you. Two weeks ago, I was on I was at work and I was on Twitter. I seen you tweet. I, I follow you, bro. You are hilarious. First of all, you need yeah, to be stopped. You need yeah, to be right. stopped. Oh, first of all, first that nigga's a terrorist. This nigga need to be stopped. I am a, Terrorist. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna talk, talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, nigga, I hit the group chat like this nigga trip. But that's another story. Man. I got on Twitter. I seen you tweeting. I was like, man, my dog is an artist too. Just like you, I didn't know anything in your catalog, bro. And I immediately hit you. I was like, bro, I'm about to run your shit. I'm about to run your shit right now, and I'm about to see what you about. Man, I was pleasantly surprised, bro. Real shit. Mm-hmm. Same shit that you said. Like, I'm from Houston. Houston to my core, bro. I, I, I know Houston rappers and shit like that, but that's not what I listen to. I listen to niggas from New York. I listen to Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Jay-Z, shit like that. That's what I, that's my, that's my bag. You know what I right, mean? Right, right, So when it comes to Houston rappers, unfortunately, I just have this stigma like, it's just not, you know, for me right, type shit. Right, right. When I heard this nigga, that nigga's nice. No, when I heard this nigga, that nigga's nice. Stop it. I'm not get. And then, and then you talk Stop about it, girl relax. records. Yeah, you, talk, yeah, you talk about girl records. Gas yeah, me yeah, right, You talk about yeah, girl yeah, records, yeah, right? No, nah, nah, we. Bro. I just found out this nigga sing not too long ago. Bro, bro. <laughs> so you, you talk like about this nigga the same singing? shit, bro. Like, I ran your shit, bro. No cap, bro. And I was pleasantly surprised, bro. Yeah. Pleasantly surprised, bro. I appreciate that, bro. I That's real that. shit, Thank bro. You. It's on my favorites and everything, bro. Your shit, like, your songs that, is in my playlist, bro. Yeah, real shit. So nah. I understand where you're coming from when you talk about that type of shit because, yeah. you know, as Houston artists, we get this motherfucking stigma of, you know what I'm saying, we trash. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, right, we, right. we ain't got the shit. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm keeping it above. And that's that's I'm not keeping it, it above. Yeah. But it's motherfuckers out here in this city like me, like him, yeah. that does this shit for yeah, real. Yeah, and nah, take for this sure. shit seriously. For so sure. 
I'm just, I'm I just happy to be yours, bro. I'm just happy to be in a room with both of y'all niggas. Man, to be honest, it's wild. Hey, man, like the the, the y'all niggas inspire me to rap. The, y'all niggas inspire I got 16 me bars. to go beyond music and actually yeah. use my platform to talk about shit like mental health and laugh and be myself and be okay mm -hmm. and be transparent <laughs> and understand that we don't have to be, we don't have to be okay all the time. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I, I. The, the same way y'all niggas look at me, I look at y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all older, not much older, but y'all older, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, and right. me being a fan of the pie before I even joined the network, it was easy to be integrated in, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far That's as being just, a team player. Right, for sure. That's who I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, like, for instance, this nigga don't like nothing. He don't like, like shit. This nigga don't like nothing. But right. but seeing him rave about certain music, it makes me check it out if I haven't checked it out on my own. Right, yeah, exactly. Because he don't like nothing. He don't like shit. Like, he doesn't like anything. So yeah. it's like, all right, cool. When I heard a Big Dog, I was like, nigga, how am I not on this? Like, nigga, you crazy. <laughs> like, 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 I was... <laughs> like, yeah, right, crazy. right. Like, like, I'm, I, like, bro, like, like, just so, rapper So, so Big Dog remix, though? Man. Nigga, need to come out like a motherfucker. Yeah, awesome. nigga, All like right. listen, listen. We 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 trying to get that worked out right now as we Just speak. Let me talk on that hoe, bro. I don't care. Hey man, hey, hey I got I got we, a high six. We, hey, we 16. got some. I got some shit. And matter of fact, hold on, let me go to it because the niggas think it's a game as far <laughs> as the rollout and what niggas is about to do for real. And they don't and they don't understand that we that I'm really about to do this shit. What is, what is what is that what what is that what does that say? Don't don't read it out loud. Just read it to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> read it to yourself. Yeah. Read it to yourself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. We, so we can get that. Yeah. So we can get. So we can get that finished. Yes, sir. Yeah, right. We we definitely can use that for that for that for that joint. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. Uh, of course. But I think that um. But again, it's like a breath of fresh air to hear somebody like, nah. like I, nigga, I, I listen with that two nigga different is nice ears. That I listen, nice I shit. listen with like three different ears. Yeah. Like I, because I, I'm in the studio listening to my own music all the time. I have studio ear, I have artist ear because of who I am as an artist and what I listen to, and then I have podcast ear now because I'm listening from a fan standpoint right. of not being an artist. Right. So I had to thoroughly listen to the project. You know what I'm saying? Like in different in different ways, and see, okay, what do I like? What do I dislike? Which is I didn't find anything I dislike, bro. It was, you, it, it was crisp as hell. That's why I asked you for the engineer information. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like that. It was like, nigga, you sound like you on the radio already. Man, like the way that album sound. Like, sit, like I text that nigga and I was like, bro, who mixes this nigga music? Bro, I, I ain't gonna lie, the the freestyle he gave us. Uh, was that last year? Mm-hmm. Still one of my favorites, dog. I ain't gonna I, lie to you. I got to hit We're gonna have fun tonight. Yeah. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. I ain't gonna lie. As soon as that, Mathis comes back to unlock his fucking phone. That nigga went into the that nigga went into that booth. Boom. And I was just like, Yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's, 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 I'm, bro, I I I don't say I gas niggas I like, but I support niggas I like. Yeah. And and I support all my niggas. Everybody's dope. But it'd it be ones where you'd be like, that nigga there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I always I'm try not going to say nothing. I'm lost for words. Yes. I always try to push these niggas to keep going. All of them. Nah, for from, sure. From that's, that's why. That's why. To oh, Dash. Javon. <sighs> Moment of transparency. Relly. Cali. I just, all I these just wish the rest of them niggas get off their ass and fucking rap. Niggas, niggas Big do facts. all this cocky shit and don't rap. Big facts. Like Dudes, what you what you cocky There be about, niggas nigga? that be like, like like yeah. niggas who didn't make the the, the, yeah. the Houston picture. Nigga, you didn't make the Houston picture because you ain't doing shit. But then but then like sub mm. shit on niggas that was on it. But I'm like, but you, mm. yeah, but you, you ain't know, doing shit. Be, I mean, funny because I be wanting rappers who have Plex, and then we're gonna head to this booth. I be wanting rappers that have Plex to actually. Um, Speak up sometimes because like 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 put a name on it. Like if you feel you better than another nigga, they put a really name on like it that. and let's see. They don't really feel like that. They that that's the equivalent of the person that subtweet in 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 hopes and prays that the person that they subtweeting, the person that they subtweeting sees it and then reacts to it. But it usually is the wrong person gets the subtweet 
And then there's a whole But if I react and you don't rap back, what's the point of it? These niggas. I'm just asking. I'll be in front, bro. Man, you. keep them whack ass rhymes at the crib, bro. That's these what I'm niggas saying. Do not. If you ain't rhyming, keep them whack ass rhymes the side. <laughs> These niggas do not be coming outside. There has been times where I have yeah. paid for studio time, and I've said this on the other pod. Yeah. I've paid for studio time. All a nigga had to do was show up and rap, and they did not show up. 